What's up toy fans? It's Ben here from Bugsy's Toy Box and hitting you with a top five Turtles figures. So guys, welcome back. Another week, another video. Making sure we're consistent, making sure we're bringing you all the best of Bugsy's Toy Box. Uh, you've got a solo one from me this week as we are still waiting on a couple of parcels to arrive for our next uh, mystery box video. So I thought I'd hit you with a top five, my top five uh, turtles figures from my collection. Um, so these are in no particular order. They're just my top five figures for sculpts, color, um, just all round awesomeness. So here we go. So guys, number five for me has got to be OG, one of the first ten figures produced. Nineteen eighty eight foot soldier. As you can see, mine is complete. I don't know if you guys will pick that up in the light, but yeah, 1998, 1988, sorry. Uh, Playmates, Mirage. Um, he's got all of his things, his Turtle Blaster. You can see his big one on the back. Um, his mace, his knife. He didn't come with stars, I don't believe, but for the awesomeness of the foot. And you know, you guys know I love a bad guy. He had to feature it in the top five. Number four was a bit tricky. It was tricky to pick this whole top five, to be honest. Um, and funnily enough, there's only actually one turtle in it. I wonder if you guys can guess what it is. If you think you know, stick it in the comment below. Don't skip to the end to find out and cheat. Stick us a comment, see if you can work out what it is. My number four is Mutagen Man. Now, Mutagen Man came in 1990. Obviously, all still Playmates Mirage Studios. Um, I'm not. Mine's not complete by any means, but I've got the sort of the pink cap and the, the purple tube. This sort of Mutagen style pistol. I'm just missing all the the little yellow bits that go inside. Number three for me. There has to be a raff in there. Probably a little bit controversial but as I've said before the storage shell turtles for me are the best sculpts for the turtles as you can see it's the, the sort of the, the cheeky faces that these guys are putting let me take his um puffer fish mace out of his hand you can see it better they're just so so sick they match the cartoons for me the best in my opinion and they are absolutely awesome mine's not complete as I say by any means I'm missing one of his size um, I've got the two throw-in stars over the top, um, over the top in the cabinets. Um, obviously, he's got his little axe and stuff on the back. I just love it's su such a small extra bit of articulation, but the fact that you can fit the majority of the weapons in the back, so you can take them, close them up, and take them wherever you want with you. As a kid, that would have been wicked. So you didn't lose anything. Popped everything in the shell in the back. Number two. No, between number one and number two there's really not a lot in it as i said before there's no order to these uh, but you guys will know that muckman is one of my all-time favorites <laughs> As you can see, mine is complete. He's got the little cap to the top of his head. He's got Joe Eyeball, who 
is probably one of my favourite minifigures from the line. Uh, he's got his trash can backpack. See that there? And his blaster, which has got all sorts of stuff. You see it's made from junk. It's made from like a... Is that a whiskey bottle on top? A soda can at the back? All sorts of cans of dog food and all sorts of stuff. Turtle soup. It's so, so wicked. And the fact that you could take the top of his head, this banana-y sort of bit, uh, and you could pour ooze in there and it'd come out of his mouth, or you could pour it in his backpack. I don't know if you guys can see. You pour it in his backpack. All the ooze would then come out of this hole here and it all dribble out the front, out the back. It's such an interactive toy. Um, they never came with Muse, but obviously you could buy the um, all the ooze and stuff separately in little pots, like you could do with the Ghostbusters and stuff. So he had to make it into the top five. All right, guys, and my number one, which I'm going to say is the fa my favourite uh, of the sort of, what, five, six-inch figures, if that. Um, no, they're not even there, are they? Of my Turtles figures, my favourite has to be Hothead. Now, the details on this are absolutely insane. And you can see all of his, sorry, his gold necklace, all his armour, all his sort of spiky knee pads, the veins and stuff up his arms. Make sure I get that one in focus. So, so sick. I got this in a trade with Andy at one of the NECs a couple of years ago. And I'm so happy we did the trade. Um, Hothead was 1992, so still within my realm of collecting. Sorry, I just dropped his, um, his crazy headpiece. Um, it's just so sick. The only bit I'm missing for mine is the end of the stuff. There's like another knife, sort of swordy thing that goes on top. But it's just the sculpt of the facial, facial expression... He's got his little sort of purpley blue ponytail and bearded pieces. He has to be, for me, my favourite figure. You can pop his head down um, so his articulation sort of drops. I don't, I don't think there's any mechanism to make his head shoot out. Uh, if there is, I haven't found the button. Um, but it's just absolutely wicked that you, you've got movement to his head and... The full articulation like everything else so he has to be my top figure so guys there we have it my top five i jumped on the bandwagon uh andy's toys and models has done his top star wars aaron from empire toys has done his top star wars thought i'd go a little bit different as star wars is not really my thing um if you guys haven't go join the toy division facebook page some wicked things they had um lkg on there the other day that was a wicked live stream to watch always funny always Good seeing the guys, um, seeing what they've been picking up and chatting about all sorts of things in there. So that was wicked. Um, guys, there's still a little bit of time to get your eBay £20 challenge entries in. You've got until Monday, which is my birthday. Um, we've, had a, we've currently only had one from Andy's Toys and Models. So at the moment, Andy, you are winning. Um, so if anybody wants to give Andy a run for his money, make sure you shoot us over... Um, it can be a picture, it can be a video, it doesn't have to be anything massive. Uh, we'll collate it all and make a make a little video out of it. Um, so that would be wicked. You've got until Monday, let's say end of play Monday. Um, have an awesome, awesome weekend, guys. Stay safe. I hope everybody's getting into the Christmas spirit as much as we can. Uh, and yeah, keep it unpunched.